Let us learn how to create this simple list infographic animation using Morph Transition in PowerPoint. It is a very easy and beginner friendly tutorial and it will really impress your audience right in your next presentation. Let us jump right in. Before that, I am Ram Gopal from presentationprocess.com. If you want to learn 25 creative presentation ideas to upgrade your presentations, then please join our 5-day free email course by clicking on the link in the description box below the video. Let us start from scratch with this blank slide. I've got some random design on the slide just to add some visual interest. The first thing we want to do is to add three parallelograms. You go to basic shapes, you find parallelogram here, click on it and then draw a parallelogram like so. Remove the shape outline by going to no outline and change the color to black. Then use the text box tool to write number one and choose a thicker font. Like in this case, I'm going to use 2 cent empty condensed extra bold. Increase the font size like so and then keep it right in the middle and then change the font color to something visible like this. Then select both of them by clicking and dragging your cursor. Press Ctrl D to create a duplicate and then place it right next to the previous one but then with sufficient distance. Then press Ctrl D again and we have got three of these instances. The second one needs to be naturally named as number two and the third one needs to be number three. The next thing we need to set up is for the text that would fill in the space. So let us zoom out like so and then write our text. I've used three text boxes to write three sample text items and I've kept them outside the slide area. Now to introduce these numbers in style, I'm going to select these parallelograms while holding the shift button down so I can select all of them. Then let me add a simple float in animation with a duration of 0.5 seconds. If you want, you can always change the middle one to the opposite direction. As you can see by default, all the float in happens from below. You can change the middle one as float down and change the duration to 0.5 seconds. So when I go to slideshow on a click, this is how I introduce these three numbers. Next, let us duplicate this slide by right clicking and using duplicate slide option. Now I'm going to make a few changes to the first one. But before that, make sure that all the animations on this slide are removed. Then let us select this box. The first thing I'm going to do is to move this yellow handle to the left so it becomes a proper square. Then I'm going to change the color of this box to match something we've got on the slide. I'm going to choose this green color. So let us go to shape fill, use eyedropper tool and click on the green color. Now it is green. Now let us select this text element and then using your arrow key, you can move it all the way out of the box like so and then change the font color to something that can be easily red, like in this case, black color. Then let us move the text box we have got earlier and make sure that it is placed properly right into this box here. You can of course select the text and the box and align them properly using align center and align middle option. If you want the text to be a little more readable, you can always make this as white. Now we've got our first change in place. Let us go to transitions and use morph animation and you can see the beautiful transitions. So I go to slideshow from the first slide and then on a click I introduce these three numbers. Then you can see the morph transition in play. We have got the number pushed up and the text from outside the area has now come into the box and the box color has been changed from black to this green color. Now we are going to repeat this by right clicking and using duplicate slide option and we're going to do exactly what we did earlier. Select this, push this yellow handle to the left so it becomes a square. Then use your arrow keys to move this text box out and give this a color that is readable. I'm going to use black. I'm going to move this text box inside the box like so. And then the background color is going to be something that I see on the slide. In this case, I'm going to use this orange color. Now that looks beautiful. Right click, duplicate slide, select the parallelogram, push the yellow handle to the left, move the text box up, change font color, move this text box, change the background color of the box to something that you see on the slide. Like in this case, the orange color looks beautiful. Since we have got more transition applied to this slide and since we have been duplicating this slide continuously, we will have more transition applied to all these slides. Now, finally, I'm going to select the first slide, 
So everything goes back to its original form. So I'm going to right click copy this and I'm going to paste this underneath this and we're going to make a few changes. The first thing is we don't need any of these animations. So I'm going to remove these animations and I'm going to apply morph transition to this particular slide. Now, when I go to the first slide and go to slideshow, this is how it starts. On a click, we introduce these three text boxes, hinting to the people that we're going to talk about a list of three items. Then on a click, we talk about the first item like so, finish our explanation. Then we click and introduce the next item. And then we introduce the third item. So that is how you create a beautiful list infographic using morph transition in PowerPoint. If you want to master PowerPoint and improve your presentation techniques to grow your career and business, then a good course to join would be our Ram Gopal's PowerPoint Mastery Program. This program is in fact a collection of 42 courses. Each course is specifically designed to hone one specific skill. So by the time you finish these courses, you will be able to create some beautiful and effective PowerPoint presentations. You can click on the link in the description box below the video and take a look at this page and watch this video to see how this program can change the way you create your presentations. If you are a beginner in PowerPoint and you want to pick up some useful tips in PowerPoint, then you can watch this playlist next. I will leave a link to this playlist right now on your screen. You can click on the link and watch those videos next to improve your PowerPoint game. I'll see you inside those videos.